and welcome to another video. Um, so I was thinking um, recently that uh, diamonds are just like the default um, currency that like realms and servers use as you know a currency and I was like but diamonds are kind of easy to get like I've not done a ton of like strip mine or anything in minecraft but i've you know got a good fair few diamonds in the smp that i'm doing um so it's just like is there a better item to to use as currency and um i was definitely um interested in this because i do plan on making shops um at some point on the smp so i was like i should check you should have a quick look over every item and uh, see how, you know, whether or not they could be used as a currency um, and then make a video on it. So, here we are. First off, there's a, I, I had a look at literally every item in the creative menu. I literally just like went down and was like, okay, yeah, this, 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 and just evaluated them each individually. And um, if there's an item in here that you don't see on here is probably because it's covered by one of these um so i didn't like bother putting every staircase in i just put like the stone stairs now i'm just going to quickly fly over these items uh that's infested stone by the way um now generally these the reason why i chose for chose these items to not really be um suitable uh to be used as a form of currency is because of a, a couple of reasons generally either they're too difficult to get um too easy to get or non-stackable like yes you could use like diamond armor as currency but the problem is it's non-stackable um or diamond hose but the problem is they're non-stackable and the other problem is you craft a diamond hoe and you can only ever use those diamonds as a hoe which essentially means you might as well just use those two diamonds as currency rather than just the diamond hoe because diamonds are stackable and they can be used for more than just a hoe um and uh, um yeah shulker boxes they're nice they're really convenient storage but again they're non-stackable making them difficult to use as a form of currency um it's like you can farm saplings and leaves and just like redstones fairly easy to get and stick, you know just either stuff that's easy to get uh farmable non-stackable um you know these are generally not fit to be uh, used as any form of currency now these are some that i think could be used as currency but i have a few gripes with them um so let's start at the bottom here with the never star and the beacon um now i believe that these could that at least the never star could be a form of like premium like super expensive currency like um something you'd use to pay for really expensive stuff because beacons are really good and very um sought after and especially in minecraft bedrock Withers aren't, uh, in Minecraft Bedrock, withers aren't easy to take down, so they're even more desirable because of that. So they're useful, they're rare because you have to kill a wither boss, and they're not super easy to get. Because, again, you have to kill a wither boss, which requires you to kill a bunch of withers to get wither skeletons. But that part's not super difficult if you have a wither skeleton farm, so most of the value here comes from its use as a beacon, and its, um, difficulty to get because of killing the wither, um... But again, the main problem with this as a form of currency is um, that not everybody's going to be able to kill withers to get never stars to buy, you know, wood. And again, because this is so valuable and rare that if you try to buy wood with this, you, uh, to get any, to get the full value out of it, you'd be buying just shulker boxes full of wood and the shulker boxes themselves. So that is the main problem with using the never star but i could definitely see like using a never star to like um 
sell in bulk. Just like, oh, if you want for a double two double chests of uh, logs, uh, pay, give me a never leave me a never sell, and I'll uh, deliver the two the uh, double chest two double chests full of logs, or however many or what, however many logs it would take. You know, that's just off the top of my head. Or just like a never staff or a full set of enchanted gear or something like that, you know, use it as more of a premium currency a lot alongside a more standard currency. Shulker shells. Now unlike shulker boxes, let me uh, just demonstrate this. Shulk. Unlike shulker boxes that cannot stack, you can stack shulker shells up to 64 making these much more viable as a currency um and the um two shulker shells equals one shulker box so essentially here you have 32 shulker boxes per stack and shulker boxes are very desirable very useful and you know they're just really good um so I definitely think that uh, shulker shells could be used as a form of currency. The only problem I have with shulker shells as a form of currency is they are non-renewable. Once all the shulkers in the end are dead, as of now on Minecraft Bedrock, um, you know, then they're gone. You'd have to reset the entire end to get more shulker shells, which is undesirable. Because you don't want your for form of currency to just one day be gone entirely. Um, and you don't want to have to keep resetting the end. Because some people might want to build something in the end. Like an Enderman farm or something. so, Or a big city build, end city build or something like that. You, you get my idea. You, you genuinely don't want to have to reset the end repeatedly. Because your currency is based on a finite resource. And I think that is the main problem with coming up with a resource. Because it can't be finite, but it can't be too easy to get. It can't be useless, and it, and it can't be non-stackable. Um, so that is the main problem uh, we, ha we have with like, finding a new currency. And then, uh, now I want to go on to the uh, copper iron and gold now obviously my main thought here was um copper being the least valuable iron being the medium value and gold being the most valuable um and like the raw forms being the least valuable the um ingots being second most valuable raw ore blocks being uh, just uh third most valuable with uh the actual blocks being the most valuable the only problem with using uh, copper, iron, and gold, is that iron and gold are um, farmable. You can make iron and gold farms, which essentially makes it hard to use them as a form of currency. But um, yeah, if that's not really something you can fix with um, with Ally just like buying iron and gold farms, which I think is a very bad idea. Um, so I don't really think they could hold up a, a economy on their own. Maybe as a supplementary to something else, like as a not as expen like still valuable, but because they still have value, even though you can farm them, because they are quite useful. Um, but um, you know, I don't think they can hold up a economy all on their own because you're gonna have because as soon as like an iron farm is built you're gonna need to like have everything cost have a bunch of stuff cost like stacks and stacks of iron and then eventually you're just gonna have like people just like buying stuff with stacks of iron and stacks of gold blocks and it's like i think that, i think it could be used um uh effectively but i think it would you need a very um i think it would yeah like again i think it would need to be like a cheap you know, a, a cheaper option to a more expensive uh, main form of currency. Um, and copper, the main problem with copper 
is that uh, mining the ore gives you a lot more copper and it's very easy to get a lot of copper. Uh, but the block it is de desirable because the block is useful. Um, and also the main problem of having any sort of food being a form of currency is because it's edible. Um, emeralds, I think they're actually pretty decent. Uh, the main problem is that they're very easily farmable with just like villagers and raid farms. So the ease of farming puts them down. And totems of undying. Now I know I said that they couldn't really be stackable, but totems of undying again that is holding it back from being what I would recommend. But also the other thing that hold it, that is holding it back is that it, you can't really get these without raids, and you can't really get them in a large quant. You can get them in a large quantity because of raid farms, so that's a downside. And I think that yeah, really the main thing of these is that they don't have too much use. They are very desirable because they keep you from dying, but other than that, they're not, they don't have too many uses and they can only be gotten from like raid farms or uh, woodland mansions, which it's not a bad thing because these are quite strong, but I think that's the main thing holding them back from being a currency. And Gilded Blackstone is something, yeah, it's uh, something that I would, re I really have thought about this and it does honest, again, it's like Totem Fun Dying. You can only get these in certain places. Like you can only get Gilded Blackstone in uh, Piglin and Bastions. But these are the... R and the thing is, they're the rarest blocks in the game. Um, that are re renewable, pretty much. They're not... Well, actually, they're not renewable, sorry. But they're, once they're gone, they're all gone. So it's just like, they're non-renewable. But they are quite rare, but not so rare that they're impossible to get. But the problem is that you need... One, you need Silk Touch. Two, you need to find a Piglin Bastion, and it's like, and uh, I think maybe as like a alternative, more more high end form of currency. Um, and I do think these do have value on their own, just because outside of just like because the gold that you get from them, because they are because of their rarity and their unique texture. But I think it. If these were, if they if they ever become craftable, then um, definitely not. But I think I think these could be like I think you could definitely um, use them as you know for trading. You know, again a bit like um, the Never Stars, more of a um, higher end currency. Now here we've got diamonds because I know I said earlier that diamonds have become quite easy to get but the thing is that they are just even with them becoming more easier to get in the in case and quest part two i think they've not they're not so easy to get that they've become worthless but i do think that um they are um what's the word um, you know, they have been a little bit devalued, and yeah, but I, f uh, I was, I was thinking about this, and the, like, ancient debris, uh, ancient debris, never write scraps, never write ingots, and never write blocks, in my opinion, are actually very close to being perfect, um, I think maybe the ancient that maybe they're a little bit, you could argue that they're a little bit hard to get because of the Asian debris being fairly rare, but I think honestly, these are probably the best alternative to diamond, uh, alternative item to diamonds in the game um, right now because. Uh, well, again, you have here you have multiple tiers. You have Asian debris, which would be the least valuable. You have Neverite scraps, which would be a little bit more valuable, but not really much val that much valuable. Then you have the Neverite ingots, which would be more more valuable, and then you have the Neverite blocks, which would be the most valuable. Um, and I do think uh, this could work. Like, um. You know, 
because maybe have like the netherite scrap be where like like uh two racing debris be with one netherite scrap well actually let's work this out right now so if and so if two asian debris debris are with is with one Uh, is with one neverite scrap and then one neverite ingot would be with I don't want to say four neverite scrap because uh, um you also have the gold in there but I would honestly I would trade four gold for one neverite scrap so I guess five neverite scrap this is just in my in my opinion and obviously one block of um neverite would be with uh nine neverite ingots and then obviously like if you want to scale this to diamonds you could just be like oh well um one neverite scrap is equivalent to one diamond or something like that meaning that the neverite would the neverite scrap would be the uh, replacement for diamond meaning that um asian debris would be worth one half of a diamond um and then obviously a neverite ingot would be worth five diamonds and then a neverite block would be worth um five ten fifteen twenty well actually it's forty five he's idiot anyway yeah forty five diamonds um pretty much um or you could just say one neverite block is worth one diamond block well no that wouldn't really math out correctly because it would be more useful well actually one never right ingot would be worth one diamond and then nine ingots <laughs> and then nine diamond. yeah so yeah one one ingot one diamond one block one block um when right i said never right scrap was worth a diamond then yeah so if never right scrap is worth one diamond then one neverite ingot is five diamonds then five times nine is 45 so a block of neverite would be worth 45 diamonds yeah that sounds about right and then like an asian debris would be worth half of a diamond um and i i think honestly the um this is probably the best way to go about it um To be honest, the uh, in, yeah, in my personal opinion, as of now, Asian debris, never write scraps, never write anything, and never write blocks are the best form of currency, uh, the best item to base currency around. Like, um, you could uh, um, now this is just this has mainly just been focusing on a single item now. If I were to create, hold on, let me get some concrete here and an item frame. Purple concrete. And an item frame. And a, I'm just gonna pick block this sign. So if I were to create a mish, mish, mishmash of these um, using diamonds as the base of all this so just like um, so here we would have like One diamond value. 
So for like one diamond value, we'd obviously have like a neverite scrap. Um And like I said, Neverite Inga would be worth five Neverite, five times as much as a Neverite Scrap, so. Five die among value. Forty five diamond and we have half diamond value. And the reason why I think Asian debris should be half a diamond when uh, scraps are one diamond is because um, you've got the fuel that is required to smelt the Asian debris and the, the time I would take to smelt them. So I think, you know, the time and the resources to um, that it takes to smell the Asian debris um, would definitely make uh, move it down in my opinion. Um, But then I would, I would probably have, never stars here as well, which would be, I don't know, how much would a never star cost? Hold on, let me think about this. Hmm, hold on. Hmm. Uh, and you in uh, um, Hermitcraft, uh, I've got like a bunch of like uh, prices noted down from Hermitcraft that I use for a tem I could use for template. In Hermitcraft, one ancient debris is worth one diamond, cost one diamond block in one of the se in one of the series of um, Hermitcraft. So I don't e I don't even I don't know if I'm like undervaluing uh, ancient debris, but that this is just my opinion. Uh, concrete die, gold, gold, pending, unity, loyalty, pending, change, change, uh, there you go, beacon, beacons, uh, okay, so a beacon would cost two diamond blocks in Hermitcraft. So that's 18 diamonds. So let's say 20 diamond value. And you have never stars, which are 20 diamond value. And ooh, shulker shells. Hmm, 
There's no prices for shop cursor. What's on space? No, I'm not misspelling it. Hmm, shulker shells. Um, my first ever twenty. Right, so we have half a diamond, one diamond, five diamonds, and forty-five diamonds. Uh, I think a shulker box. How much does shulker box do? Shulker boxes sell for? I don't know. Um, the first five. Right, these are fairly rare and they are a finite resource so i guess like maybe again this is all off the top of my head i've not really planned this out super much so uh, this is just like rough estimates of like 10 diamond value so like shulker shells are like 10 diamonds each that seems fair to me um, and the main reason, uh, also the main thing in my opinion that's holding Neverite back from being the perfect um, currency item um, is the fact that it's fairly limited in uses, like you can use it to make a beacon and you can use it to upgrade your diamond tools into Neverite tools, but other than that there's not really much use to it, so I think if it just had a few more uses I think it would definitely be... Um, the best item for a currency. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What else would be a good currency? Hmm. Time. I think honestly this would work like um you know have the ancient debris and neverite as the main um foundation of the currency and then have like never stars and uh shulker shells as a more premium mind you a block of neverite is very is fairly expensive on its own, being more than double a Never Star. Which, yeah, this actually thing about that, that does actually work out pretty much. Um, at least I think. Again, th uh, this is just like a guide. This isn't just like, oh, this is how you absolutely need to set up your currency, otherwise it's just going to fail. But I think having that work is perfectly fine now. There's one more form of currency that is not uh, really, um, that, that's not any of these I want to talk about. And that is a custom currency. Um, so here I just have some examples. I've got a copper book, iron book, gold book, and diamond book. And now basically, you know, these be would be the uh, base of the currency um so if i well actually i'm gonna make our purple concrete let's do this out of light blue and i'm gonna need a new item frame So let me just place these and then I'll talk about these. So basically the idea here is if you have an official like form of government or something to that effect that could moderate and um, basically oversee this, this is a, a decent way of doing it. So it's basically a custom form of currency. So it's like 
Uh, here I just like got some examples. Like I said, I got a copper, iron, gold, and diamond book. And basically in here you just like write some stuff to like, oh, this is an authentic, authentic copper book, blah, 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 blah. And it, uh, then you would sign it to, um, so like you can see here, I just like, signed it government lead, leader, governor, Boris, and NSB. Um, you know, you'd, whoever what is the current, um, you know, leader of the government would uh, sign these books and these would basically be where However much, so basically I got it here, so these would, like, a diamond book would be worth, like, a diamond, a gold book would be worth, like, a gold block, iron book would be worth an iron block, and copper would be, book would be worth, like, a copper block, for example, say, for example, um, and, uh, um, basically how it would work is that you'd have people, like, um, so you'd have, like, an area so and people would, like, go in, they put in, you know, whatever they want. So if they wanted a diamond book, they put in like a diamond uh, in, and uh, you know, go through an item filter. It's like, okay, this is a diamond. Give them a diamond book. They get the diamond book, and you know, they can use this diamond book to spend on uh, in place of a diamond. And I think this would work particularly well if you have like a um, form of government that um, that could then use the resources gained from this to, uh, you know, like. Uh, expand the community areas and upgrade community areas and you know just build more cool stuff and uh, invest uh, and you know just like in infrastructure and stuff like that um, but the there is a couple of problems with this so, so if I just get some books and then just go into game mode zero Someone who has put, bought a diamond book could. Oh, can you not duplicate books anymore? I could have sworn you could copy books by crafting them together. Maybe that's just a Java thing. So this is probably more. Um, oh yeah, this is probably more secure on. Minecraft Bedrock. Um, so, unless you... Oh, wait, you probably need a book and quill. Give at P book. One, two, three, four. Sixty-four. Oh, I forgot you can't hold more than one at a time the wearable books but yeah you get two of these you get the original but that does say it's a copy so if you want to make sure um that nobody's copying books you could only hand out original books Um, but the problem with this is that obviously the original won't stack with anything, but the copies will stack. So it's like the copies are would be better to use. Um, as a currency, but they way they are easier to duplicate. I die, think yeah, you can still copy them. Oh wait, that does say copy of a copy, copy of original. So yeah, no, oh, this is actually more way more secure than I originally thought it was. And the copies of the copies do not stack it with stack with the copies nor the original. So. This is actually way more secure than I originally thought it was, which is a nice surprise. Um, so what you can basically then do is just like have an original. So you take the original, you place it in there, you copy it, 
and then you have and then you basically just say oh the copies are of the original are valid but uh making copies of a copy is illegal and you will basically be banned or fined or whatever punishment you want for it and yeah yeah that's a nice surprise it, so it's always a nice surprise when something you an idea that you thought was flawed turned out to be not flawed at all or not as flawed as you originally thought um so yeah and obviously um because the copies of the originals don't stack with the copies of the copies uh you can have the shop safely use item filters um so that they can't um so that people can't use the copies of the copies to um scam pe you know just uh you know but yeah basically just like scam items out of shops um again uh you still will want somebody to um Uh, like make sure people aren't abusing this somehow because it's part there, there could be a, re a uh, way to cheese this i'm not thinking of right now but yeah and again um you don't have to do it like iron you don't have to base this off iron copper gold and diamonds you could base it off this you could have a uh never uh a never right to scrap you know uh ancient debris never right scrap never write ingots never write block never style and a uh, shulker shell um book but the problem with this is that this can only work if these are backed up by something so this this is basically how money in real life works um these are basically like banknotes and the way back banknotes work is that um they're essentially a promise um that and you can ba basically go to like any bank at any time with like paper money and get the metal money out because the paper money is basically the promise that you will get the metal um because it's the metal that has the value not the paper itself because you know it's you get the idea the paper is the promise that you get the metal uh coins and the metal coins is what has the value because that they're made out of precious metals um and the same and it would be the same idea with these these would only ever have any value if you could if anyone holding them at any point in time could uh, trade them in for um their uh, what they're promising so you know iron gold diamonds asian debris uh, and all that um and yeah like i said uh if if they if people cannot do that then they are essentially worthless and useless because again they're not uh, unlike a banknote they won't be a promise of getting that i being able to tra trade the item in at any point in time uh you just have you, you essentially just have a worthless piece of paper that says uh never write block on it um and the cool thing is that, um, and the cool thing is like, um, if I go here, uh, I can open this up, and if I go into like WordPad or Word or whatever, I can just like, um, go type whatever out in WordPad. You can't see this, but I'm just gonna type all that bunch of random shit. I can Control A, Control C. And control V and there it's all in there sign blah 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 so yeah you can uh, sort of like copy and paste stuff in here and I honestly think this is a underrated uh, uh, form of currency mainly be and i think the main reason why it's underrated is because it's fairly complicated because this is basically ba this is basically based upon what money is like in the real world and obviously like money and currency and economics 
economics is not a simple subject. Um, and uh, basically, yeah. So, and I think you, for this to work fully, I think you'd probably need uh, at least a handful of these items to make it work so people could just like trade in their items uh, whenever. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think that, um, I'll probably try using the combination of the, um, the, uh, you know, banknote, you know, the, this, this, we're, come back, we're using this as a base, so like, um, I'd probably, I would probably set up a, you know, dispenser which is like, um, Ne Asian debris, uh, never write scraps, never write ingot, never write block, never never stars and shulker shells. You know, just put a bunch of copies in a um, bait in the shop. I basically just like have it so that people just like put out put these items in um, a chest, and then it'll automatically give you um, a book for the item that you put in. Um, and then you can use those books to um, uh, buy stuff. Um, so yeah. Uh, tell me what you think of about um, this. Do you agree with my, um, you know, uh, I don't know what my sorting of all the items. Do you agree that all these items should be should never be used as currency? These items could be used as currency, but uh, not on their own. And these uh, are probably the best are the best items to use for currency. Or do you think like uh, and also that's supposed to be glass, but because of the texture pack, the glass is in barely, well, it's barely visible, but it's m pretty much invisible. Um, uh, but do, do you think, like, some of these items should be in one of the other two categories, and why? Or do you have any questions of why any of these items in particular are in here? Put them down in the comment section below. Do you think any of these items should be in the green or in the red, or the green items should be in the blue or the red? Um, and do you, and uh, what do you think of the uh, bank, I'm going to call that, refer to this as the banknotes, the banknote um, idea, because I, I, if, I think that if this gained more um, popularity, I think um, we could actually start seeing some like really cool like uh, art, so like, um, you know how people like do weird art where, where they just like use like the spaces and stuff. So like I'm going to try and make an eye here. Um, But yeah, you get you get the idea. Basically, just like making shapes and words with the like letters in the that like symbols and everything. I think if you know, I think if this idea took off more, I think we would see a lot more stuff like this. Um, because like people would then use like all the different like um arts and stuff to you know make cool looking currency Cool looking currency that people could just like 
copy and paste into their box um, and then have some like really cool coins. See? Um, but again, I think the main thing holding this back is the fact that it is, compli it is so complicated and the fact that you, again, for these to have any real value, you'd have to um, be able to pay back the, um, you know, pay, pay out the items that they're based on. Um, and without be without you being able to do that and yeah and if you're wondering yes that is how inflation works basically when a uh, co co country basically prints more notes than uh, so many notes that they can't fulfill uh, the the mm, the promise of the notes you know basically um encapsulate so then you just the notes are basically worthless um but yeah, um, let me know what you think, and I'll and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.